Kev, first things first, you've had time to reflect after the weekend. What are your thoughts on Saturday's game? Uh, I thought, again, once again, it was a very tight game. Probably a draw was, was a fair enough result. Um, I think we, you know, either team could have nicked it, uh, but a draw was a fair enough result. It's probably, probably the first time I think that we've had a little bit of good fortune as well uh, in terms of the goals. Um, but I was so pleased to see Sim get his first goal as well because he worked so hard. Uh, it's great to see him get a goal and uh, hopefully that will give him a real lease of life as well. Um, and obviously Jamal had a good game and, and, and got that goal as well. It's a two great goals as you mentioned, so that must give the squad a lot of encouragement going into tomorrow night's game. Yeah, well I've been trying to encourage them all the way through because as, as I've previously said, the, the performances have been, have been good, particularly the first couple and then, and then the other ones were draws as well and we were leading. So I've got, you've got to keep encouraging them, you know, and, um, and it's, it's tough for them and, and the spirit they showed to come back twice on Saturday. You know, someone asked after the game about uh, making sure we don't just dip into sort of mid-season, uh, end-of-season mediocrity. Um, and, and you could tell by the way they celebrated and why they tried right through the game. The lads are giving it every single thing they've got at the moment. Do you think there's a lot of pressure from the fans to get that first win under your leadership? Do you think the players are feeling that? Um, there's an element of it, really. But all you, all you, can, do, all you can do is just, is just work harder. It's, it's not something to, to worry about. You can't, it's not really going to do any good. Um, analysing it and trying to find solutions of why we're not getting it, which is, is the way to move forward with it. So moving forward then to tomorrow night's game, what do you expect from Yeovil? Um, I've played against, as a, as a coach and a player, i played against Yeovil loads of times. I've played against Darren, I've coached Darren, I've played against him loads of times. And Terry Skifferton as well, and you know, they're two real winners. Um, he was one of the hardest working players I've worked with, Darren. Um, and, um, and his team reflects that as well. You know, they've got some strengths in different areas. Um, they've got the big lad up front, Eves, they've got Dawson, they've got a few players in there. And, and listen, it, it will be, once again, it'll be a tough game, as, as all the games in League Two are. Uh, but I certainly know that he'll be going out to, to give us a real test. I mean, they're currently sat four points behind us in the league. Is it a game that really Barney should be winning? Uh, you like to think we could do, but as I said, you know, you've just got to look at some of the results this season. Teams are beating Plymouth down at Plymouth, and, and anyone on any given day in League One and Two can can beat anyone. The, the, the difference between the, maybe the Championship and the Premiership is sometimes that consistency. So all of the, all of our players have got League One Championship games in them, and same as the Oval players. It's just what turns up on the day, and we've got to make sure we get a consistency towards that. So with that in mind, what do we do to beat the Oval then tomorrow night? We've certainly got to match their work rate, and I think we've got to continue creating chances and keep it a bit tighter at the back, because the two goals we conceded Saturday he was pretty disappointed with, to be honest. So we've got to make sure we keep that tight uh, and, and keep keep working, keep plugging away, and keep the belief going in terms of the fans and, and the players as well. On a side note, is there an injury update with the squad? Anyone that we expect to add or take away from the team? Well, again, Saturday we had, we had eight injuries and, and one illness Saturday, and, and then, no, those lads are still still injured. There's a couple of others as well from Saturday's game. So again, but the positive side of that for me is, is now that I've been in the building that have been for what five games, I'm getting to know the other lads as well in training. We've set up a couple of practice matches, so. So there's a possibility of, of shuffling players around where previously I probably didn't know quite as much about the lads that hadn't been in the side. So there's something to look at. So as you mentioned there, you know, you're still relatively new to this football club. So do you feel like you're finding your feet now? Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's, it, honestly, it's, it, the structure of the football club is fantastic. It's, it, it's, it's, it's so good. The staff work tirelessly to, to do things right. Everyone around the place has been really welcoming. So, but I'm trying to find my feet a little bit now. Um, and hopefully, like I say, that will help to, to get, us, um, get us three points that we want. As we final question, Kev, as we move into the back end of the season, then what would your message be to the fans to help cheer the lads on? I just keep believing we've been fantastic since I've come in. They've been brilliant. They've been really good. You know, obviously the first game was Portsmouth, which was an electric atmosphere. I think it's probably the biggest game of the season. But since then as well, they've, they've backed the lads the whole time. Even going down twice, I didn't hear criticism. What I heard was encouragement to get them players to keep going, and and these players need it. You know, they're, they're, a lot of us are young side, with a little bit of experience in there, but they need encouragement, the lads. You know, and uh, you certainly don't want to to be hitting with a stick all the time because I'm not sure if that always works. So your advice would be to the fans: come along tomorrow night, fill the hive, and let's cheer the boys on. Absolutely, yeah.